Hello everybody, how's it going, and welcome to a new game called Firmament Wars. Uh, I first actually saw this game on Average Gamer's channel, so thanks for uh, for showing me this. It looks kind of interesting, and it was like super duper cheap, so I decided to pick it up, and uh, I want to give it a try. So we're playing as the USSR, of course, the United Soviet Infinitum Republic, as I've renamed it. Um, we're going to go against the computer for St. Lucia. Um, apparently. And we're gonna do just very easy to start with, because I really don't know about this game, uh, at all. Now, um, they have multiple different, um, things you can be. We should probably be communism, to be totally fair. Um, apparently we start with a great person. Okay. Uh, we get plus one science from four food, and can deploy troops into uninhabited territory. So I don't know, that, that, that sounds kind of dangerous. Two times discovered reward bonus from... Barbarians, so, okay. Um, yeah. It's kind of an interesting game. You can add a bunch of CPUs, I think up to, like, eight. Yeah, eight players um, on Alpha Earth map. I don't know if there's more maps, or if they're planning more maps. I don't really know. I don't think this is in early access anymore. Um, it didn't... I don't, I don't really remember on the Steam page, but we're going to start this game, go after this computer, and uh, see what we can't do. So you can see you start here. Uh, you don't start in your home nation. Where's St. Lucia? Okay. They're way down there. <laughs> like, way down there. Um, I don't think there's a pause either. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're just going. So I guess you attack. And then you choose where you want to attack. Okay, yeah, that is what it is. And then I'm like, hey, fuck you. I shot some barbarians up there. And I think the goal is to, like... Um, just take over as much as possible, uh, with as little time as you have, and get as much, like, food and culture and stuff. Um, so we can deploy some troops now. Now, I kind of want to cut off St. Lucia, because I'm kind of a dickhead, and I just want them to die. So, they don't look like they're doing very well down here, either. They're, like, fighting off some barbarians that are, like, really shitty. So I'm gonna, like, fully cut them off here. Um, yeah, I can deploy troops again. So if I, because the only way they, could, they can get out is actually through this way. So if I just deploy a shit ton of troops in here, they can't actually leave. <laughs> so <laughs> I can, I can entirely fuck them over. Um, let's research gunpowder, because apparently you can unlock cannons. That's pretty cool. Um, you can see they're getting a bunch of troops there and I can split attack too so if I split attack I can move half my troops here oh a attack Thailand attack there you know just uh, move around a little bit they have 10 troops though going into New Guinea that makes me a little bit nervous uh, okay good um, deploy troops okay now we have more troops there <laughs> um, yeah, I could fire cannons into, like, adjacent territories, so if that 10 goes there, I could uh, potentially, you know, fire my cannons at them. Um, but right now, I'm just going to kind of try to hold them off, I guess. They can't deploy too many troops because they're kind of trapped. That's a really shitty starting point for them because there's no way they can really leave without killing 13 of my troops. So, yeah. It's a really shitty starting point. It's not very easy, though. I just want, I just really want to show off this game. But it reminds me a heck of a lot um, of the game Risk, if you remember that game. Um, it's pretty, like, on the nose with that. There we go. Take that shit over. And we'll spread out in here a little bit. Uh, oh, they have 17 troops on there now. Oh, that's not good. They could move that around very quickly. Let's deploy troops here. But uh, yeah, it, it reminds me of Risk. And I can see this being hell with eight people all starting in different areas of the map. I think this would be insane. Um, I think we should fire cannons at them. Oh my god, they took me out. Oh no! Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, alright. Um, can we fire... Oh, okay. That's fine. Let's not fire cannons. Um, oh, that's not good. Oh, okay, thank goodness. We got 15 troops. Uh, deploy troops. <laughs> deploy more troops. Um, 
Let's attack them. We'll take them out. Um, oh, that might not have been a good idea. Oh, dear. Sorry, we took out like their big, big troop contingent. They're getting a bunch of troops. I want to take their capital because that's actually like a lot of resources that you can get. I'm just waiting for that food to give me more troops here. They might... Oh, no! Okay. Okay, yeah, no, 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 no. From here, fire cannons into there. <laughs> It didn't really work out very well. Uh, we're going to deploy, deploy. I'm going to attack. Let's attack. Oh, they fucked up. Oh, what do they got now? Oh, well, they got six troops in there. Oh, fuck. Yes, attack with that one. Oh, shit. And deploy troops. Now attack. No, I said attack. There we go. We got nine troops in there. We can deploy these troops here and wipe them out. Oh, wait. How the fuck did that happen? Fire cannons. Can I rush troops? Can I rush more troops? Let us rush a bunch of troops. And they're dead. That's it. We win. They have been eliminated. Oh, I got a bunch of achievements. Victory! We didn't even really dominate much of the globe. I assume we would have got, like, way more troops and reserve and stuff if we had dominated the globe, like, straight out. Because um, every time you, like, attack these little barbarian settlements, you get, like, f extra food. And, like, your percentage for food stuff goes up. Like, it's, yeah. Uh, we had a lot of culture, but not a lot of food. We had a shit ton of science. Holy crap. I didn't even realize. That's that's insane. Well, but yeah, that's Firmament Wars. Uh, a lot of fun. If anybody has this, wants to play multiplayer, uh, I'd be down. So yeah, really cool, fun little uh, indie game. It's like five, six bucks on the store right now. Again, reminds me a hell of a lot of like Risk. It's like the same kind of thing, um, but like not at the same time. I don't know. It's, it's kind of fun. It is kind of fun. It's very simplistic, but definitely, I, I like, with multiple people playing or a lot harder AI, I think you'd have to do a lot of, like, genuine strategic thinking to actually win. Um, I got pretty lucky right there. I thought they'd be, like, way down here or something, like, in South America. But no, they were just in shitty... They were in Australia. They are the shittiest start point possible. Because, uh, like, they can't get a lot here. Um, and if I just surround them, they're done. So it's like, what, what are they going to do? But yeah, super fun game. Um, highly recommend it. It's yeah. Like I said, super, super cheap. Yeah. I score is not even that great. Uh, it was on like very easy, right? So there's like a free for all there's team games so you can team up. Um, there's ranked and private matches. Like there's actually like a leaderboard somewhere. Where's the fucking, there it is. So yeah, there's like leaderboards for like individual people. This guy apparently is really, really good. Uh, Kingdom of a Natic Raider, good for him. El Reich, good. Is that the Holy Roman Empire flag? No, it's not. Uh, Nazi Germany, of course, there's going to be some guy from the fucking states. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, the U.S. actually is pretty, pretty low down, like as far as like America itself. Like they're pretty low down on this thing. It's kind of funny that it's Denmark. That's the highest. Denmark and then, uh, was that Australia or New Zealand? I'm not really sure. I, I apologize. I'm pretty sure that's Australia, though. Um, I don't know. But yeah, kind of crazy. And then there's, like, team. So who's best at teams? Apparently Texas is really good. Never Works is really good. Um, the U.S. dominates this one. There's three of them on the tops here. But there is a, there is a Canadian one, so that's awesome. Go us. Uh, ranked, apparently the Texans, by the looks of it. Looks like the Texas flag there. This Cheruskia guy is, like, really fucking good, apparently. Maryland. Uh, oh, there's some communist nations going on there. Okay. Um, straight up nations. The United States is, rec like, is the record holder. Uh, Germany, China, Australia, which is, uh, good for them. 
Uh, Russia, France, Sweden, Japan, Brazil, UK, Denmark. Canada's there on 12th place, so go Canada, go. And then, yeah, who's last? Ireland. <laughs> Ireland has nothing. They have no wins, no losses. Nobody's played as them. Guatemala has two losses. Portugal's got a loss. That's just sad. And then flags, straight-up flags. China's winning. Um, the straight-up flags actually includes, like, the optional nations, the ones that don't exist anymore, like Byzantines, the Holy Roman Empire, um, the NSDAP, uh, the USSR, Roman Empire, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of cool that it, uh, you know, includes all that kind of stuff. Oh, look, ISIS is here. That's nice. That's great. Confederates, Kekistan. You can play as Kekistan. So there you go. Jolly Roger. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat game. Highly recommend it. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description of the video. And uh, yeah, um, give it a try, I guess. And I will see you all next time. Peace.